So, this is what they call popo here. No, no, can you imagine this one? To be honest, this is not popo. This is puff. <laughs> it's shock up. It's shock you. I'm on my own, broken alone. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town. I'm searching for the lost and found. But you don't care. Yeah, I'm aware. Keep moving like the scars aren't even there. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and thank you so much for being on this journey with me. Today, we're going to be looking at fruits, vegetables, vegetables, whatever, and food items that seemingly look different or are unique to the abroad or to our local community. If you are yet to subscribe, guess what you have to do? Click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so we enjoy ourselves. Let's dive in. All right, let's go into the Morrisons to explore these fruits and vegetables. The ones we don't they shock me since. The door is opening for me and I am going to get a cart. This unique cart system requires you to punch in a one pound coin. When you put it in, the cart opens for you and then you can pull it out and start to go to your shopping. They have done this to make sure that you return the carts safely because a lot of people finish shopping and they just dump the carts, you know, anywhere they like. Your one pound is always with you right in that ash color safe. And when you're done, you put it back properly, the one pound comes out and you can leave. So I think it has actually made work um, easier for a lot of people who work in the shopping malls. I'm super excited to be going to see this because when I first got to the UK, as I was leaving the airport, one of the first things that caught my eyes was the very strange fruits that I was seeing at the shops nearby. And I was like, wait, this one too now fruit? They say, yes, it's a kind of fruit. I say, oh, no wonder. Oh, you both they live long. So a lot of fruits here um, are very new to me. Uh, they are fruit that are not very common at home. Honestly, it's not like they also grow them. A lot of it are imported, but they know their way of bringing them to the country for the benefit of the people. And so today on the eShock You series, we're going to be talking about fruits and you don't want to miss any of this. There are a lot of the fruits that are cross-cutting that we have at home. And then there are some that we have that they don't have. And we're going to be exploring all of those. For those fruits that are cross-cutting, I still notice that the sizes are different and sometimes the colors are also very unique. So it is important that we talk about this. A shock you. So this is what they call popo here. No, no. Can you imagine this one? To be honest, this is not popo. This is pop. <laughs> it's shock up. It's shock you. <laughs> this cannot be popo. Pop. Oh, pari, like pop. Let me return it because I cannot buy pop. I came to buy pop. No, 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 please. What's the meaning of this? What's this? What's this? No, no, see it. Look. Look, look. This is all of it. A lot of the mango it looks more like mango to me. Me, yeah, I cannot buy this one. And how much is it? 1.5. Genus Musa. Hmm. So Musa said day here. Now let's talk about bananas. This is one of the most popular fruits you find, I think, across the world. So here they have fantastic banana ranges, and this is what they look like. They're very colorful, bright, and they are actually very cheap, right? And so both banana and plantain although these ones you really can't use them as plantain one of the things that i noticed with these bananas is that they are very fresh 
their green is not as green as our own and to be honest they taste different i think the ones we have at home kind of taste better uh this is where you shop for them and as you can see on the tray it's almost empty the moment they are putting it people are shopping them off um even this one before the end of the day you discover that it's almost gone banana is a very fantastic food people use it for so many things um including smoothie they eat it as you know just regular fruits after food and all of that um we have seen what the banana here looks like let me know what you think about them now this is our own banana from home um they are super cheap they're cheaper than bananas abroad from my experience This is them having made their way to the market. I think preservation is also one of the ways that our own suffer from. This is Plantain, the senior brother of Banana. This one is showing us the range of which, you know, from fresh to spoiled. Potato, Solanum to Barosum. Now, potato is what it is. Uh, people have it fried, have it boiled almost everywhere you go in the world. So, this is a very popular one. So, this is one of those cross cutting food items um, that I think we have, they have, uh, but they have like different varieties of it here. Uh, this is Irish, and that one is another different one. Um, they also have the sweet potato. Um, I think I found it in the open market. Yes, I did. I think I did find it in the open market. This is me just showing you the potato while trying to film and take some home. Look at Irish potato. It's a little bit um, almost the size of our own, but it's a little bit bigger. This is the sweet potato I was talking about. These food items are sourced from so many different countries india brazil um i think they get some of their yam from ghana but this video doesn't cover yam uh, but these are the potatoes the small ones and then you see how they pan out some of them go for i think they go for 99p each as shown on the label but then the prices vary so this is sweet potato um in the box and loose potatoes so they have what they call loose potatoes and then baking potatoes so like i said the potatoes have ranges let's go home our own potatoes are a little bit bigger you see it and um, that sweet potato our sweet potato is bigger our irish potato is a little bit smaller than theirs this is picture of some people packing potatoes, I believe, right from the farm. Cucumis sativos. Cucumba. Or my people will call it cucumba. <laughs> now, cucumba is um, a very unique plant also. I, I saw it first thing when I came to the Morrisons and it jumped at me because how can it be this long? Ah, uh -uh. it's just too long. I don't, I don't understand, right? The ones that we have at home, I believe they are a little bit round and you know smaller in size. I don't know where did they get this kind of cucumber from. And if you look at them, also they are a lot more dark skinned. They are tough, right? Look at it. They are tough. You know on their skin this their color is very very tough um they are quite cheap they go for 45 pence um at the morrison's but they are even cheaper in the local market and this is how they are packaged unlike our own that um somebody will just put in the wheelbarrow and be pushing about in the sun all day these ones kukumba way they inside ac how you see them they are there flexing wrapped individually and stored away this one proper proper i don't believe them like the length and i think the taste is not very different when i tried it 
Kukumba we dey inside AC. It really shocked me. <laughs> it shocked me. It shocked me. For those who are watching us from the abroad, this is like the typical kukumba from back home that I'm used to. It's also very cheap. Uh, and then as when they come fresh from the farm, look like this. And then people actually take cucumber with groundnut, yes, peanut, and it's very, very good. You want to try it? Try it and let me know what it feels like in the comments. Citrus X sinensis. Now, when you see X in the scientific name of a plant, it means that that particular species is a hybrid. Two different kind of species kind of came together, you know, mixed up and you have it. Now, their own orange is the proper color of orange, if you ask me. Because our own oranges, they usually come out green and then after a while, they begin to turn. This is an array of oranges. They are not very expensive. They are also packed like this uh, when you see them. And this is me holding it and just showing you how they are stored away. So you can buy this pack um, for not very expensive prices. For example, they are selling this one two for three pounds. Um, it's not expensive for people that are here, but back home, if you convert that, that's like two of that pack for... 2100 naira it's a lot of money so it's like 700 naira for one pack of orange but it's very fantastic orange and one crazy thing about the oranges here is that you would hardly find seeds i tell you that <laughs> you would hardly hardly find seeds now some are cheaper there's this one going for 99p it just depends you can always check the prices before um, you make your purchase, but really people go for the oranges because they are cheap Now let's go home. You must have been seeing this in the street You can see the colors are different and so definitely it needed to shock me Tangerine citrus reticulata this is like the cousin to the oranges. They are also very, very fantastic. I just had um, some even today while I was making this video. Um, again, the tangerine here, I don't know how to do it. It doesn't have seeds in it. You can buy 100. If you find seed, maybe you find seed in one out of 100. I don't know how to do it. Our tangerines at home are a little bit different. This is how they look like. Ours have seeds, which I think is an advantage because if you have a little farm at your backyard, you can pick the seeds and go plant them. And um, that is how it feels. It's actually just good anywhere you find them. Fragaria X Ananasa. Now, the X again means that the strawberry is actually a hybrid of two different species before this particular species of strawberry that we know came to be. That's the meaning of the X in the scientific name. Strawberries are very, very popular abroad, both in the posh shop and in the open market like the one you're seeing. They are very beautiful, colorful from afar. They are very cheap too um i mean depends on how you're looking at it and who is buying you know in fact people have them so much they even get spoiled um this is what they have packaged at the morrison's like i said earlier the prices you get at morrison's like standard stores is a little bit more expensive than what you will get at the open market so fairly fairly enough it's not very expensive if you ask me um I think this entire thing is going for four pound which is about 2800 that looks like almost the price that we also get them at home so let me know what you think about strawberry cost and prices and if you have had strawberry lately um, do you enjoy strawberry let me know 
and then moving straight home we also have strawberry in nigeria they are a little bit smaller in sizes but they are very natural and they are very very great um you see women hawking them even in places like Jos where a lot of people farm them these plates goes for like 500 naira which is like one pound so it's way way cheaper Karika papaya popo so now i was really lost as to whether we're going to get popo or not because popo is not very popular here you may go to five different stores and they won't have it uh, but then i was lucky the day i was filming they had popo in stock the only problem was i don't think it that was popo right i think to be fair and to be honest that was more like paw because it's too too small it's way too small to what we used to call popo back home and that's just what it is it's very small and tiny um i don't know what it tastes like because i didn't buy it uh, but then you have seen it it looks almost the same in terms of color um to what we are used to buying at home even though ours is just very very big i think it also depends on the soil and where it's been grown and so this goes for one pound fifty uh which is literally about one thousand naira for each imagine buying this small thing this chocolo this chocolo paw because it's not purple <laughs> imagine buying this chocolo paw for one thousand naira it doesn't make sense to me and that's the exact reason why i ended up not buying but i think i needed to actually show you and yes i think it's important to show you what our purple looks like look at how green and colorful they are and then i'm not talking about purple that is acting film because that's what a lot of people will think i'm talking about and uh, this is how big our own purple is look at the inside it's so rich so nobody can sell paw in the name of purple for me picho prunos persica peach is like the younger brother of apple um this is one of the fruits that we actually do not have back home um we we don't plant all the fruits even apple i think our apples are imported uh from neighboring countries so and i'm not sure there's a demand like that for peaches so this is, a, this is what peaches look like and they're actually very good they taste like apple it's just like the relationship between oranges and tangerine you can see they're very close they have the same shape almost the same taste but they are still different so this one roll goes for one pound fifty which is like about one thousand naira to be honest it shocked me <laughs> it shocked it shocked you. because peach is not one of those fruits that i knew like that it is the uk that actually introduced me to you know eating peaches and making peaches part of my smoothie so ladies and gentlemen that is peaches oh so when you come abroad because it's not if you come abroad i believe you're going to come around to enjoy to have your holiday visitation for work and all that so when you visit try some peaches you are going to love it when you open the peaches this is what it looks like in the inside it's actually a nice one Punica granatum Pomegranate Pomegranate is one of those fruits that really jumped at me when I came around when I saw it I was like What's this thing that looks like onion? Right because on the outside it looks like an onion ball But you can't peel it like that you cut it and then you eat what's inside and what's inside looks pretty much like maize right is it, it looks like maize seeds right but they are red and they are very rich they are actually used for smoothie also they are very strange mm, to me particularly it shocked me <laughs> it shocked it shocked i had never come across them it's not like they may not exist maybe in my part of the world but 
I mean, I've never come across pomegranate. In fact, I had to learn how to pronounce it. I had to learn the spelling. So, and each of them go for a pound. It's quite expensive, I'll say. Um, for one, which is like 700 plus naira for just one of these. I'm not sure anybody would buy it safe. And as for the inside, this is what it looks like. You've seen it. You can eat the seeds one after the other, or you can put them in a blender and make a very sumptuous juice out of it. They are very colorful and good. Our own Chrysophyllum Africanum. Agbalumo, aka African Star Apple. Now, I grew up knowing that Agbalumo is cherry, but hey, I was wrong. Agbalumo is not cherry. <laughs> so there's cherry, cherry, right? Cherry day in your own. Agbalumo is African Star Apple, and I think is a fruit that is common to us. Um, and you can you may never find it here i i haven't found it except somebody intentionally start to import it there's not so much of a demand for agbalu more like that right so this is the inside it looks very good and it tastes really nice especially when the rain falls after it is mature this is an array of agbalu more being sold in the market you can get an entire basket for very cheap in fact my grandfather used to have a tree of it in his compound uh, in the village so i do not understand why i need to buy agbaluma anyways so that's agbaluma for you enjoy it when you go to nigeria prunos avio cherry now this is the cherry that we use to call agbaluma a cherry right so cherry is cherry and agbalumo is african star apple now this is the cherry go 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 you see it it's very beautiful it's also used for smoothie it is an amazing fruit people enjoy it and it's not very expensive it's something that you can actually afford and you can see it's plenty we're selling it for one pound fifty right for two of it so you can pack those two white bowls for one pound fifty i remember now um so cherry you enjoy the cherry uh you can eat it directly you wash it you eat it directly it's good for the body shakarum officinarum sugarcane aka irake sugarcane is very very fantastic it's a natural form of sugar you know that grows very very wild once you plant a few of it it just blooms Bwah! it just continues to spread it's a very fantastic plant it's sweet but unfortunately it's not abroad i don't know if there's something against it where they have not been importing it but i haven't found it abroad um this is what kind of the cane farm looks like and then i think it requires a lot of water to grow and um, they cut off the green things at the top they cut it off from the stem and boom you are you are fine you can also shave it into smaller bits keep it in the fridge and crunch it you are really going to love it and then sugar can actually be made from it people extract sugar directly from it Solanum melongena, eggplant. The most common um, experience of this one for most of us who come from Nigeria is WhatsApp. We know it through WhatsApp. People use it for so many things uh, to communicate. and But it's not something that we know what it looks like. So I love the fact that I'm finally able to connect to the eggplant and being able to feel it and experience it firsthand. Um, the eggplant is unique globally, but it's very common here abroad and um, You see what it looks like. I don't know why they named it eggplant honestly <laughs> But eggplant is eggplant It's one of the most popular 
fruits in the world thanks to social media this is a box of it each of them goes for 70p they call it purple or bajine or eggplant 70p should be about 500 naira for one right so i don't know if people want to buy an eggplant for 500 naira but i think we have a mutated version of it which is a variant that we call our own garden egg right they have some similarities garden egg and this eggplant are very common if you look at it you see the, that crown at the head ours are usually white and green and then some have some coloration of yellow and people use it to make stew and several other things <laughs> thank you guys for watching this episode of the taa show i love you and in case you are yet to subscribe please hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell so you get to know when the next episode drops till next time you have a right to be motivated I'm on my own, broken alone. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town, we're searching for the lost and found.